Palantir stock really has, let's say, tripled, if not more, from the lows of you know late Jan 22 or late December 22 and Jan 2023. It's really had quite a run from the six-ish level, as high as eighteen dollars. This is a weekly chart, and I'm struggling with the idea of. You know, what do you do when something has moved so much? It can still grow, but uh, you're, you're having some doubts based on valuations. Here's the valuations I'm looking at. Price to sales mainly, 18 times sales. That doesn't seem like a good value unless it has a bright future. But how do you wrap your mind around that? So that's what I'm struggling with. And I want to be able to, to think through it in a measured, calculated, mathematical way. So I'm looking at all the expected earnings. These are from Seeking Alpha. And I grew them out a little bit and then slowed it down in the future. Palantir could be between 40 and $80, let's say, in the future. There's some future value 20 years later, potentially, that I'm going to discount back. So that'll give me some present value of the cash flows. Imagine I, I bought all of Palantir, the whole company. This is what I would be interested in. How much money does it bring in? And then when I sell out of it, what am I left with? That's what present value of earnings tells me. Now, the interesting thing is because it's over multiple years, I have to discount it back. And the discount rate, you could also consider a hurdle rate. If I want to make 20%, if that's my hurdle, that's what I need to make, then this is the number that's the line in the sand. So if I'm trying to make 20% over multiple years, Palantir may not meet my requirement anymore, and I might consider looking at other opportunities. Isn't that an interesting way to look at it? Even though this stock will still go up and potentially go to, say, 73, because... I need to make 20%. It doesn't meet that criteria. It tells me right here that it would only be a 16% return. So it really depends on the individual. E even if this is rock solid, set in stone, and it's going to go to 73, it depends on the individual, what they need to make, want to make. If, uh, if most institutions are happy making 7%, then they should hold the stock until it reaches $77. At least that's what the math says. Interesting way to look at it. On a technical level, you might say that a little overbought. Is there a better opportunity in the future? Who knows? It's hard to say. Can Palantir grow fast enough to justify this valuation? Time will tell. Let me know your thoughts. Cheers.